In a sport dominated by men, the novelty of female drivers brings attention. Bathurst's V8 supercar race is an endurance event. Two drivers share 161 laps of a track a little over six kilometres long. Simona de Silvestro and Renee Gracie are the first female pair to compete in it for 17 years. But both professional drivers, de Silvestro mostly on the US IndyCar circuit and Gracie in Australia's second tier V8 series, the ladies are used to standing out. It just starts from the beginning, you know, when we, when we look at go-karting, there's hundreds of boys and maybe, you know, five girls who are go-karting. So already then, you know, in, in the, right in the beginning, the ratio is much different. It costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to compete in this race. Ability and the possibility of winning attract sponsors. But so does novelty. Gracie says men often suggest she gets more support than them because she can wear a skirt and look pretty. In general, though, men are supportive. One in particular. Racing against Gracie and De Silvestro will be Gracie's boyfriend. Last year, he came fifth. Your own hopes for this weekend? To beat your girlfriend or win the race? Oh, both equally important, I think. Ragging rights at home, I won't hear the end of it if she beats me. Though reasonably big in Australia, V8 supercar racing is still fairly niche internationally. Formula One is the pinnacle of motorsport. There hasn't been a woman in an international Grand Prix since the 1970s. I hope there's more females in general racing and I hope someone can get to Formula One to prove to everyone that we can do it. For now, De Silvestro and Gracie are just the stars of Bathurst. This is all part of the razzmatazz that goes with the big race, but it's in the driving seat that these women earn respect. They want more women to do the same. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Bathurst.